in this lesson we'll learn um, solving algebraic equation solving inequalities and solving for exponent so let's get started the first thing we'll learn um, the algebraic equation is 3x minus 1 equal to 20 how to solve this so if you want to solve so you need to um, do the opposite operation to eliminate uh, number or variable so you have 3x minus 1 equal 20 so what you could do you could add so you have minus sign that means you need to add so add both side by 1 so what do you have now then you have this one this and cancel out right so you have 3x equal to 21 and then you need to divide both side by 3 3 cancel 3 cancel so you have x equal to seven go to the next one so the same way you have 8a minus 3 equal 7a minus 33 so you have negative sign with that right so you need to do the opposite operation so you need to add both side by 3 i did that so cancel cancel so you have 8a equal 7a minus 30 right so you need to do the opposite operation to eliminate the variable so you have plus sign in the front so you need to do the minus so negative 7a do the both sides same thing so this is 7a 7a cancel out so 8a minus 7 is a equal to negative 30 so this is another answer so let me give you some uh, practice problem you try by yourself uh, make sure that you understand so I have two problem here. So you try to do by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that I got. So if you get the same answer, you are good. Go to the next. So let's solve another uh, two algebraic equation. Let's go. So if you have a multiple variable, try to simplify first. So how to simplify? So 3x plus, uh, sorry, 3m plus m minus 7 equal m minus 25 so simplify that so 3m plus m equal 4m minus 7 equal m minus 25 right so um add both side by 7 you have to do the opposite operation as i mentioned before um so cancel cancel so you have 4m equal m minus 25 minus 7 that is 18 right so let's solve this uh, two algebraic equation here so if you have a multiple variables uh, or like terms you first need to combine so let's combine these two terms together so what do you give it to you uh, that is uh, 4m minus 7 equal m minus 25 so the first thing you need to do, you need to do the opposite operation to eliminate, add both side by 7, cancel, cancel. So you have 4m here and the side you have m minus 25 minus 7 is 18. So you have it's still both side m, so you need to eliminate from one side, so subtract both side by m. Cancel, cancel. So 4m minus m equal 3m equal to negative 18. Now you need to do the opposite operation. So that is 3 times m. So you need to divide by 3 both sides. So that so then m equal to 18 divided by 3 is just 6. Negative 6 actually. So that is the answer. So do the next problem. Um, the same way just add both side by 3 both side by 3 cancel out cancel out right so what do you have we have negative 3y equal negative 8y minus 27 all right so add both side by 8y add both side by 8y to eliminate cancel um 8y minus 3y is uh, 5y equal to 
negative 27 right so you divide both side by 5 both side by 5 right so if you simplify that uh, make it to mix number uh, that will give you uh, y equal negative 5 and 2 fifth all right go to the next so here i have a uh, two problem listed so you try to do by the same way i did it follow the steps uh, how i did it and you will see that uh, this answer 18 over 7 and 6 if you get same answer you should be good if you don't get it so just practice uh, one more time to make sure that your concept is clear so go to the next topic so here is another type of algebraic e equation we need to solve if you have a parenthesis you need to simplify that so what do you have now uh, you have 3x minus 3 times 7 is 21 equal x minus 25 and once you know that it it make a uh, little bit simpler than the previous problem so add both side by 21 cancel cancel so you have 3x equal x minus 4 right so what you could do next so subtract both side by x so what do you have now now hmm. so you have here not cancelling here so actually so you have um 2x equal to negative 4 and then x will be negative 4 divided by 2 equal to negative 2 so here x equal to negative 2 okay so let's solve another one similar way so um negative 2y times negative times positive is negative so that is um negative 6 here equal 7y minus 31 right so add both side by 6 add both side by 6 cancel cancel so you have negative 2y equal to negative 7y minus 25 all right so now add both side by 7y so then you have um, 5y equal to negative 25 divide both side by 5 and then y equal to negative 5 okay all right go to the next topic so i have a few problem you practice by yourself make sure that the answer i provided here uh, you get the same thing if you get same thing so you're good go to the next so just practice at least three times from the beginning and i highly recommend you to write down every single steps and do multiple times so that you you'll remember for a long time so i have another type of problem here this time i don't have any uh, number here but everything is invariable so let's do that i have here ax equal bd solve for d so in that case um if you want to solve for d so divide both side by b so b b cancel out so my d equal ax over b simple so i have another one similar way so you have ax plus by equal d solve for x so in that case what you need to do you need to subtract both side by 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 cancel cancel so you have ax equal to d minus by and if you want to solve for x you want to divide both side by a Let's divide both side by a cancel out cancel out so the answer is x equal d minus by over a okay good so i have two problems similar so thus you try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that i got here all right so if you get that you should be good let's go to the next topic 
So I have another type of um, algebraic equation problem. These are the different problem comes in, in actual algebra test. So if you know this concept, most likely you'll get everything based on this type of problem. All right, so let's do it. So um, so we have here x over 2 equal um, negative 5. If you have a single term here, single term here, one side or both side fraction, so you could cross multiply. So let me write a little bit simpler way. So you have x over 2 equal to negative 5, right? If you don't have any anything, you could put one underneath of that and then cross multiply. So what do you have now? So you have x equal to negative 10. Okay, let's do the another problem the same way. Um, add both sides by 5 first. Cancel, cancel right so here you have you have x over 2 equal to 8 plus 5 is 13 right and then cross multiply then you you'll have um, x equal to 26 go to the next topic so I give you the similar type of problem here uh, based on the examples so you try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer that I got. Go next. So here we have um, different type of problem this time. This time all the previous problem x exponent was 1. But in this case you have x exponent is 2. Let's see how to solve it. The same way, the first of all, first eliminate 5 from both sides because you need to get uh, rid of any kind of coefficient with um, variables. All right. So divide both sides by 5, both sides by 5, cancel, cancel. So you have x squared equal to 25, right? If x squared equal to 25, then x will be e square root over 25. So that will give you um, plus and minus 5. Because five, negative ti 5 times negative 5 equal to 25 and uh, 5 times 5 is also equal to 25. So that's why if you have a x exponent is 2, you will have two solution, two, two value. If you have x equal to 3, that you should have three value. Okay. So I'm not going to talk about this negative numbers and anything. Just put everything as positive. So if you have a two answer, pick two, most likely you will have one answer. So let's do that next one. You will be a little bit... Um, more clear so divide both sides by 3 so then you have x is x cube equal to 9 right in that case x will be cube root of 9 so you could live like this way um, a is if not, you cannot solve it so that is the answer Let's go to the next. So I have a similar type of two problem. So you solve by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer um, that I get. Go next. So here we'll solve uh, some inequalities. So this is same like solving algebraic equation, right? But a little bit different and we'll see when you do the problem. So same way, add both sides by five. So this 5, this 5 is cancelled out. So you have 2x is greater than 12. And then divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. So you have x is greater than 6. Okay. So now this problem is a little bit different. Let's pay close attention on that. So you might need this type of problem um, to do it carefully. Okay. So let's do that. So subtract both sides by 5. First of all, so this cancel, this cancel. You have negative 3x is greater than 14 minus 5 is 9. Right? So what you need to do next, divide both sides by negative 3 to eliminate this negative 3. So negative 3, this, this. Now, this is the thing you need to be very careful with that. So if you divide in, in, in inequality, if you divide it by negative number, the sign will change. So that will give you x is less than 
negative 3 so that is the answer okay let's let's go to the um, next topic so I have um, not next topic this is the practice problem you try to do by yourself make sure that you get the same answer that I get go to the next so this is solving exponent so the formula here if you have uh, a to the power x equal a to the power n that means this is called base and this is called exponent right so if base are the same if the base are the same so this base and this base are the same then you could write x equal n so that means exponent will be equal each other right so using that technique let's solve this so you have so you have 3 to the power x equal to 27 so let me break that down 27 into in terms of uh, 3 to the power something so what do you have now so you have 3 to the power x equal to 3 to the power 3 so that is 3 times 3 times 3 so that is 27 so follow that if base are the same this base are the same so then you could write exponent x equal 3 let's do the another one so also uh, this time write this 16 in terms of uh, 2 to the power something so that is actually 2 to the power 4 so so that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 8 uh, 8 plus 2 8 uh, 8 times 2 is 16 right so you could write that down 2 to the power x minus 1 equal to 2 to the power fourth power right so if base are the same i have base are the same right i could write exponent are equal each other so you have um x minus 1 equal 4 and then add both side by 1 so that will give you x equal to 5 right okay cool um so that last one is you have a couple of problems that you could try by yourself and make sure that you get the same answer and uh, that i get right so practice at least two three times make sure that you you write every single steps and it will clear your all the confusion about uh, solving algebraic equation